Oh, hey, what's up, man? Yeah, yeah, uh, did you get my voicemail? Yeah, uh, I dropped off your hard drive at your place. Yeah. Cool, man. Hey, and thanks again. I really appreciate it, and, uh, really came in handy. So, thank you. Oh, New York was awesome. It was so much fun. It was beautiful there. I actually went skateboarding. No, I know. It's... I don't know why. Well, the Airbnb I was staying at was like, hey, if you want to use it, you can do it. And I was like, all right. So why not? And now I'm like, man, I kind of wish skateboarding was allowed in Night City. That would be pretty fun to get around. Right? Wouldn't it? Yeah. Me? Oh, I'm just hanging out, yeah. Just walking around, doing nothing. How about you? Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. Well, I bet it feels good. Yeah. Awesome, man. Oh. Yeah, actually, we won't be seeing each other anymore. Yeah, that's all good. No, actually, I was just talking to a friend this morning about it, and it was still very fresh. So, like, I was still in process of processing it, you know. Yeah, no, it's, it's all good. Well, basically, you know, We'd been going out a couple weeks, like just a couple dates here and there. Uh, and yeah, I just sent her a text on Saturday like, hey, you know, I know that you usually prefer beer over fancy drinks, but I kind of want to buy you fancy drinks now. And let's meet here at, set, you know, at seven. But she, uh, she replied back later and, uh, you know, basically just said, like, hey, like, this has been really fun, but uh, I've been really thinking about things after we talked last week. Because um, we had, like, a good heart-to-heart -heart talk in our last time we hung out. And, uh, you know, she just mentioned, like, you know, now that I was thinking about it, I'm, if I was to do, if I was to enter into dating again, I would only do it for something serious. And... I'm not really looking for that right now. And, uh, you know, it's kind of a tough pill to swallow. And, you know, usually in these situations, I'll try to, like, find blame, find fault in myself. Of like, oh, this is why this went wrong. I shouldn't have said that, or... Why did I say that? I should have said that. Oh, I shouldn't have picked this place to go. Oh, I shouldn't have looked that way. You know, I can go on a crazy list of just things of like what I did wrong. And I think maybe now I'm at a good age that I can, that stuff doesn't really seep in as much. And in this situation, like, A, I believe her. I think she's telling the truth. And so I definitely accept that. And, you know, that's just sort of the way life works sometimes. You can have all the cards, all the best cards. But um, sometimes things just don't work out, you know. And it's not about something that's wrong. It's just, you know, timing is everything. And it's, these two timelines just didn't match up. But, you know, we got to intersect for a little bit. And I got to know someone really cool. We work for the same company, you know, we're, 
and I don't think it'll be awkward, but we might run into each other. And dude, I have nothing but respect and admiration for her. And I think she's very sincere, very honest. She's a smart woman and just fiercely independent. You know, just she's someone who values her time and her free time and she admitted, you know, that she is more of an introvert. So really the fact that she was willing to, you know, give me a chance and see how things go. She allowed herself that time to hang out with me. I mean, that's a huge honor, honestly. And yeah, there isn't anything I would have done differently. Which is funny, because looking back, of course, you know, in the first two weeks where I'm like, oh, should I text this? Should I lay off? Should I, uh-oh, like, I haven't texted her for a while. Am I in trouble? You know, all of these worrying thoughts. But looking back, I'm like, no, I think I played it really well, actually. And, again, I got to know someone cool, and... I got to learn a little bit more about myself. And I was telling my friend this, how it was almost kind of like, ah, oh, but why am I still trying to figure this out? I don't think you're ever going to stop learning. Hopefully you don't. As long as you still continue to grow and I'm still growing. And why am I so worried about what pace at which I'm growing at? Earlier I mentioned that I was feeling like the best version of myself. And when this stuff kind of hit, I'm like, I still feel like that. I don't feel like I'm a piece of shit. I don't feel like I'm a bad person or a unworthy of, you know, connecting with someone. And so, I got to learn more about myself. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. I felt like I just bombarded you with a whole story there. But, yeah. I'm still kind of going through the motions, but I'm, I feel good. You know, I do. You know, there's a little bit of sting still, I guess. But it'll pass, and... And... Again, I'm just grateful. Hey, it was a fun couple times. And... You know, I know that it connection is a value I still want, and I still want to uh, pursue and hopefully receive you know, because connection is a two-way street, so for me, on that priority of mine, it will require a second party. But I can't, I can't go back into the hole, you know. I made it back out. Okay, maybe I'm back down to my knees, but I can stand up again, you know. And I can crawl until I walk, until I run. Just keep moving forward, right? So, that's what I'm going to do. Yeah. And, you know, hopefully, I can continue to improve and keep looking inward and allow myself to you know, kind of break down these walls that I've been building up ever since, you know, the last, let's just say, the last relationship and how, you know, I really went DEFCON 5 of trying to put those walls back up so that I would never get hurt like that again. But after a while, that doesn't serve you anymore. And 
there can be power and vulnerability, you know, and that's important. So yeah, I will continue to strive to do better things and I'm to stay on the right course, to try to keep going back out there, finding new ways. And if I see these opportunities, to recognize that all these times that I have in the past were, ooh, I get this opportunity, but no, you're going to blow it somehow. Oh, just, you're not worthy of this thing. Don't pursue it. It's only going to hurt you, you know. Well, now I'm starting to get evidence that maybe that's not always true. Because I go for these opportunities. And yeah, they haven't worked out, but it gets me steps. And every step and misstep is information, it's data for me to, you know, say, hey, I am someone of value, I am someone of worth, I do have good ideas and I think good intentions. Again, that's up to, you know, who I interact with and all of that, but trying to be as good as I can for myself and for others. Well, listen, thank you for letting me ramble on a bit. I know, a little bit shorter. I like when we have longer talks, but uh, if it's all good, I just want to walk around and kind of clear my head for a little bit. Okay, I appreciate you understanding, and we'll talk again real soon, okay?